In this video, I wanna show you how I make my French toast. This is a really nice and easy and affordable recipe. All the ingredients are probably already in your fridge and pantry. So before I get into the recipe video, check out the description box below. All the ingredients are down there, but enough talking about this French toast, let's get cooking. French toast is such a simple recipe and utilizes such common ingredients. The quality of the ingredients are super duper important. So I'm gonna put these four eggs in this bowl and you can see how bright these yolks are because I got really high quality eggs. I don't cheap out on my eggs. I always think it's better spending a couple bucks on the better eggs. We're gonna put a couple of tablespoons of some whole milk in there. And this is a secret ingredient that my mom's been using for years and I took and stole and claim as my own. It's putting some applesauce inside the French toast batter. We're also gonna put a little bit of maple syrup. And maple syrup is just like the eggs. I really think that you should spend a couple bucks and get the better maple syrup. It makes all the difference. We're gonna throw some cinnamon in there, which is gonna give it a really nice taste. And along with some vanilla extract, just a little bit. This stuff is so potent, you just need a little bit. A little pinch of salt to bring out the flavors. And now we're gonna use a whisk to break up those egg yolks and incorporate everything to make a nice, silky, smooth batter. And you can do this with a fork, but a whisk just makes the job so much easier. Once this is mixed up, we're gonna head over to the stove. We're gonna heat a nonstick skillet. You can do this in a pan. I just wanted to make a bunch of them, so I'm gonna use this larger skillet. I'm gonna butter this up pretty generously. The bread I'm choosing to use is a thick cut Texas white toast. Uh, you can use any bread that you like, but I think a thicker cut bread definitely helps. But if you wanna go healthier, you could use a whole grain. People love challah bread too. But the key is to work really fast and not let the bread get soggy. You want to make sure that you're getting nice coverage on all sides of the bread, even the outside of the bread, but without getting it overly soggy. So work fast, work neatly, and get a nice transfer over to your nonstick skillet and make sure you're getting nice contact. The key to French toast is getting caramelization on both sides. So you wanna make sure that your bread is nicely pressed into the skillet. After just a minute or two over this medium, medium high heat-ish, we're gonna give these a flip and we're gonna see how these look. When you flip them, you're going for just a single flip and you should see that nice brown caramelized color that's gonna come from the maple syrup and the applesauce because that sugar is gonna crust up really nicely. As you're flipping over, try to flip the toast onto the parts of the pan that still have some butter that hasn't been soaked into the toast. So I'm gonna try to like clean up the pan with the toast Once we get good color on the other side, we're gonna remove these to our serving platter and set them aside. If you have any leftover batter, I find that I can just take that, throw that in the fridge, and I can make a French toast the next day and everybody thinks I made the batter again. Don't tell them it's a secret. So now let's talk toppings. One topping I like to make is taking some vanilla yogurt and thinning it out with some water. So here we're just gonna use some Chobani Greek yogurt, vanilla flavor. I'm gonna throw it inside the squeeze bottle for easier application. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of water and I'm gonna put it inside the container to clean up the bottom of the container. We'll give that a little mix and we'll throw a little bit inside the squeeze bottle. We'll give that a little stir with the spoon and that's just gonna thin the yogurt out just enough so that it can go nice and easily onto the toast. And now you can see how easily this applies, it almost looks like icing. My daughter thinks it's icing when we give it to her. And a little fresh fruit. Here we went with raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries, but you can put whatever you want on here, bananas, strawberries, anything works. And in just a couple of minutes from nothing, you got something, and this is something. This is a beautiful, fresh breakfast made from scratch, super duper easy. You totally got this. Uh, I'm really excited to try this, so let's cut into it and see how we did. Uh, there's no best place to start, but we wanna make sure that we get a little bit of that French toast. Oh, I almost forgot. 
the syrup on top. Okay, now we're ready. So, a little bit of the syrup. I'm gonna get some of that fruit on there. It's not just for decoration. All right, now look at this amazing bite. Syrup, a little bit of the yogurt, all three fruits on there. My mouth is watering just looking at it. Mm. That is absolutely delightful. You know, French toast is definitely one of the top like breakfast comfort foods, especially during the cold weather months. Mm. If you like butter on top, do butter. You could put creme fraiche on top, and powdered sugar, but this is just my favorite way to eat them. Mm. You gotta make sure that you're getting enough color on top because the color, not only does it add texture, you can taste like the caramelized like sugar from the maple syrup and uh, from the uh, applesauce. It's so, so, so good. And it's really the super detail that, that makes French toast really, really shine because it's such a simple recipe. So it's all technique. Mm. While I'm finishing the rest of this French toast, if you like breakfast recipes, I got two for you. Check out my buttermilk pantry pancakes. Everything's in the pantry. You already got it. A really simple, delicious pancake recipe. And this is uh, eggs two ways for your eggheads out there. Thanks. I'll see you then.